What's up guys, this is Fox and today I am going to kill 4 cops. <laughs> it's not kidding because my boss orders me to do so. It's going to be amazing, so let's kick off the video right away. Hey, I just received a phone call from my boss. His associate doesn't believe me that I am doing a good job, and he bets me to kill 4 cops within 3 minutes. Have to show them that I am a master in this field, so let's go to the mission. Police are coming, they can't drive good, they directly hit the wall. I am waiting for them to get out of the car. Okay, one cop is coming towards me, so it's the time to shoot him. Sorry mister, my boss orders me to shoot you. Ow, there's one another cop, let's shoot him too. It's nice. Two cops are died now. I have to kill more two cops. Where are they now? I'm searching for them, but they are driving a car only. They don't get out of the car. It's hard to meet them face to face. They also calm down very easily. So I need to shoot them to get them back running against me. They are coming now. Oh, no. When they calm down again, I just fire and they consider it only for a second. What type of policemen are they? I have to fire again brutally. I don't want to kill civilians, but I don't have any other idea. One car is coming. But it directly hit the house. Wow, one cop is confronting me. It is the suitable time to shoot him down. I see one other cop, but I can't shoot him because when they come very close, they will arrest me, so I have to get away from him and to the house. This car is about to hit me. But it hit the wall. This is a crazy driver who is well trained to hit people, but he doesn't come out of the car to shoot him. So I'm going to shoot the car to blast. It's a little bit hard to destroy a car using bullets, and I also don't have any other weapons. I'm hoping he doesn't point his car me to kill me. I also know the technique to get away from a hit. I only need to quickly step out of the car here. It's fun. I don't know who is scared. Me or the police. There are many police, but they don't come forward to shoot me. They are also afraid of me and my boss. My boss is the chief of the city's gangsters who doesn't care about the police. Wow, the car is finally blasted and the police also die. I've already killed three police officers, and I have one more to kill in a minute. Yes, there is a policeman. I just saw the map, so I'm going to shoot him right away. I finally won the mission after killing four cops. This is the second mission. This time my boss wants me to steal an ice cream van. This van is about 400 meters away. I have to go there and steal it and take it to another location. The location is far away, so I need a car to reach there. The street is full of cars. I just need to pick up one car. I like this car because its speed is nice and easy to control. Let's drive it and go to the location. My boss actually has a beef with an ice cream vendor. He demands money from everybody in this city, and everybody must pay him. If they do not pay, then he will destroy everything. Everybody fears him, so rather than sorrow, they pay him. But this ice cream vendor is different. He is feeling brave. My boss is angry because he may think the vendor didn't pay the money, so he orders me to steal his full ice cream van. Then he will sell all the ice cream to get the money. I am now going to do all the tasks. I'm about to reach the location. Oh my god. I hit a police car but they didn't take any action. It's amazing. The location is just a few meters away. I'm excited to see the van. If the vendor is there, there will be fighting. Let's go and check it out. Wow. This is a huge ice cream van. It's looking nice and big. It may be ready to ship, but I'm going to steal it. I have to drive this van to a place within 55 seconds, 
which is located about 200 meters away. Oh no, although this van looks fancy, it's very slow speed, I never expected this. The vendor was about ready to ship it, but now he may find out that somebody carried it away. This is a hard task for gang members to steal a car, and it should be done within a short time. Yes, I am about to finish the mission. Nice driving. I couldn't reach here if I drove the long way. This shortcut road helps me to succeed in the mission. This is the third mission. I need to save one of my mate who is about to be attacked. This mission is an emergency. My boss enjoins me to save Harry, who is our teammate, so I will go there quickly to save his life. There are three bridges, and the city is divided by a river. Among the three bridges, one is destroyed. They are situated in the middle of the three sides. There are many gangs here, and no one knows when an attack will happen. It's basically a fight between gangs and gangs. If the police are not involved here, they may not know that it's fighting. Gangstar City is like this, fighting between police and police and gangs of gangs. The police want to secure the common people, but gangs want to raid them. This is amazing. Oh my god, this guy blasted a bomb in our garage. Now I need to kill him, so let's go. Is running amongst the people. I am going to shoot him now. Yeah, it's easy to kill him. Guys, this is the fourth and last mission. I'm about to deliver a raided substance to our garage. Ram raided an MR just a few meters away from this place and gathered all the materials in one place. So I just need to carry these materials to another location. It's interesting that there are many items to be shipped via online shopping in the e-mart. It ranges from food to household products, and they just distribute and sell products online. Ram has just traded it and called my boss to transfer the items before the police come here. So I'm going to help him carry the substances to another garage. Yes, this is the e-mart. It's small. Now I have to carry these substances to John's garage within one minute. John's garage is situated at the end of the other part of the city. There is no alternative way to reach the other parts of the city. Everybody must cross the bridge. It's okay. I will speed up my car to reach the location on time. It's also a little hard to swiftly drive in this city because other cars are very lazy and they never get away from their way. Other cars should either overtake or hit them to go fast. There are also many trees and rallies, so all these things prevent the cars from speeding up. Yes, I'm about to arrive at John's garage. His garage's front is on the other side. He opens his garage on a passerby route rather than the main road. Finally, I successfully unloaded all the raided materials. Guys, I get some amazing missions in this city. Now I'm about to move to a snowy city soon. <laughs>